Hey, what's up, YouTube? Bronix with it. Another one. And this show, we're going to be doing uh, skin retouching and color grading for another image. And this is going to be basically a full portrait tutorial so that you guys can understand how I edited this image I posted recently on my Instagram account at Ronix Photography. So, as you can see, we are now in the camera raw interface, and this is a raw file. And taken using a Canon 6D camera, I took this image at around 1 p.m and ISO 250 uh, 85 millimeter lens f3.5 at 1 out of 800th of a second so usually for my raw images I prefer to come all the way up and first tamper with this profile so usually this profile it depends on the picture style you shoot in as a photographer so different cameras have different camera profiles so I shoot in landscape because it has those nice and vibrant colors so I'm just going to come and click landscape and you can see I've already gotten back those beautiful colors in this very image so after doing that I prefer to knock down my highlights because I want to uh, get rid of this distraction in the background and also come to my whites and also push it down then when I'm done doing so, I come to my blacks and I knock them slightly in. Then I'm going to come to my shadows and I just push them up like that. Uh, I'm not going to take it all the way. So 18 is going to be fine for me. Then after doing so, I come to uh, my exposure since the image has really darkened and I prefer to uh, brighten up the image. So usually Canon cameras uh, have some kind of tint so i'm just going to reduce on that tint or some magentas by going towards the opposite of magenta which is i'm going to go towards the greens and uh, here we are right now so after i have done so i'm going to come all the way down to my clarity and i'm going to knock it down slightly i'm going to knock up my clarity and come to my vibrance and saturation and since the image is looking way oversaturated i'm going to reduce on the vibrance of the image and i'm also going to turn down the saturation to around negative three and here we are right now let's see a before and after so this is the before and after before after so one thing i would love to do i want to kind of mute uh the greens in this image so i'm going to come all the way down to my HSO panel or hue saturation and luminance panel and I'm going to come through the greens then I'm going to come the luminance of the greens and I'm just going to uh, mute them like, like that then I'm also going to change the background a little bit I'm just going to knock down the greens or the saturation of the green so that my subject can uh, kind of stand out in this very image so I'm going to leave it at that. Then I'm going to add some kind of hues towards uh, maybe the blue side. So let me see. I'm just going to go slightly like that. So you can see where we are right now. Uh, this is the image before and after, before, after. Now we have those nice and vibrant colors. So what we'd love to do in Photoshop, we want to do some skin retouching and maybe further color grading for this very image so i'm going to simply uh, first of all whiten the eyes for the model before you can uh, kick in uh, and they don't want us to go back and forth from photoshop to camera roll. so let me do everything right now i'm going to simply come right down here i'm going to zoom into the eyes of the model like that so i, be I basically want to whiten the eyes i'm going to get the adjustment brush tool and come and set it so since we are getting rid of yellows in the eyes i'm going to go towards the opposite of yellow which is a uh, blue like that around 29 and i'm going to be using a tint of 66 then highlights at four and the whites too at around four then since we are getting rid of color in the yellow uh, in the white area rather of the eye i'm just going to go with negative 65 and i'm just going to start painting so you have to uh, be careful when you're doing this uh, in your images. Basically, I think uh, that is okay. I'm just going to move up like that. 
and I'm going to uh, do the teeth whitening. So make sure you're careful with the eye and teeth whitening because if at all you paint on a different area, it is going to uh, desaturate uh, that particular area and you're not going to be having the best out of uh, your images that you're trying to uh, do the skin retouching. So I'm sorry if at all you can hear some noise in my background. I'm just trying to uh, counter for that noise. So I think uh, we are now good to go and we have whitened the eyes and teeth. I'm basically going to open the image into Photoshop for skin retouching and color grading. And as it loads, uh, we're going to uh, be doing skin retouching. So first of all, first things first, I would love to clean up uh, this image. So I'm going to first of all duplicate the background layer by hitting Ctrl Command J. And I'm going to get my spot healing brush tool. I'm just going to basically start painting over every single object I want to uh, get rid of in this image. So let me just get rid of these tiny, tiny distractions in my backgrounds. And the time I took this image, uh, this place was really congested. That's why you can see I have a distracting background uh, for this very image. So here we are right now. So I'm going to basically just do some little bit of cleaning up like that before I can uh, touch uh, the skin retouching. So I think uh, this is okay for me. So let's see what we have just removed. So let me just clean right there. So when I'm done doing so, I'm basically going to start cleaning up the model skin. So I'm just going to zoom all the way in like that. I'm going to come and clean up like that. So um, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a Photoshop action because I don't want to go over the usual steps and I don't want this to be a long tutorial for you guys. So I'm just going to play my uh, skin retouching action and that is the frequency separation action. And I'm basically going to clean up uh, or do the skin retouching for this very model. So I think uh, we are done doing so. So I'm going to merge these two layers. Shift Control E or Shift Command E. I'm going to come to my actions and since this is uh, a 16-bit image. I'm just going to come to 16-bit and I'm going to play my action and for my full body images I'm just going to zoom out so that I can blur out the details from the image. So I'm going to be using a radius of 5 because that's when the details start getting lost of, out of the image and hit OK and the action is going to play. Then I'm going to come to my low frequency layer and get my mixer brush tool. And for those who'd love to, to learn about how to create your actions or your actions for skin retouching in Photoshop, I'm going to put a link for you guys right above here to understand all that. I'm just going to zoom into the image. I'm going to... So this is my mixer brush tool. Wetness is 9, load 75, mix 90, flow 100. And always make sure it is a clean brush and make sure you select the second option. Make sure also sample all layers is not checked. And I'm just going to zoom into the image and I'm going to uh, start uh, blending or evening out the skin tones in this uh, very image like this. And when you're doing this, make sure you're on yellow frequency layer and you mix the mid-tones alone, the highlights alone and the shadows alone in the images you're doing uh, the retouching onto. So just come and uh, do this like that. And you have to stay around because I'm going to be share, sharing uh, how I do my color grading and sharing more important information for you guys to improve uh, your skin retouching and photography in general. So. I think uh, that is fine. So let me first see a before and after. You can see what I've just done with uh, the mixer brush tool right on the forehead of the model. So I'm just going to come, turn back my black and white and just come and simply 
even out like that. So I'm basically trying to uh, blend these uh, tones and harmonizing them so that we can have a nice transition uh, between the skin tones of this very model right here. So I think like that. I'm just blending the mid-tones, the highlights and the shadows in this very image. So let's see the before and after. Just going to zoom out. So turn this off and you can see the before, after, before, after of what we have just done using uh, the mixer brush tool in particular areas. So let's do the same for uh, the hands. So I'm basically going to brighten it up a little bit and come back and select my low frequency layer and come to the hands and start blending or even out the skin tones in this particular area so and when we are done doing this i'm going to share with you guys another technique you can use to color grade your images to have those rich nice and vibrant colors and to have images that are going to stand out when you I do post them so let me just uh, blend the chest area remember skin retouching is not all about uh, retouching the face you have to retouch every single uh, detail in the image so let's come right down here and we also blend so I'm basically using a mixer brush tool or I prefer to use a mixer brush tool for my full body portraits or for full body images because uh, it really gives me uh, the best results anyway so let me just come this side and just blend or even out the skin tones like that so let's see before and after so this is the before after before after let me zoom in so that you can see what we have just done for the skin retouching so you can as well mix without the help of your black and white layer but i would advise that uh, you always use uh, that layer because it's going to be giving you guys uh, the best out of your overall skin retouching so let me clean up those remaining blemishes get my spot healing brush tool and select my texture layer and i'm just going to click over those uh, tiny blemishes that i uh, may have remained in this very image so i think we are almost done like this so i hope you guys can see uh, outdoor images basically are not more like uh, those close-up images where, whereby you have to uh, pay attention to every single detail you have to do less but the image really has to look uh, nice so you have to do less for nicer i hope and that is the best uh statement i can use to describe what you have to do for your images so i think we are done uh, doing uh, the skin retouching so you can see now the before and after let me zoom in before after before after so what i would love to do let me do some little bit of more color grading uh, to this very very particular image so i'm going to come and i'm going to delete the black and white and i'm going to close this group then come back to selective color so i'm going i'm going to first of all reduce on the yellows because i feel like the image is too yellow especially in the skin tone so i'm just going to reduce on the yellows just like that to negative six and also come to the reds and reduce on the yellows in the reds just a little bit to around negative four so the before and after is really subtle so what i'm going to do i'm going to come to the blacks and i'm going to intensify or enhance the blacks because i want her dress to really uh, stand out and also have a more feel for uh, the background and i'm also going to come to the yellows and just to add that kind of bluish tone or feel to the image i'm going to come to the greens and i'm also going to see what works best for me for this very image so i'm going to go with around 29 and also come to the yellows 
I'm just going to leave it around 37. So you can as well come to the science and you see what is going to work best for you. So I'm going to go with around 3 for the science. So I think uh, this is all I have to say about this very image. So you can see what you have done straight from camera row and this is skin retouching and color grading in just Photoshop and if at all you feel the image is too warm you can come to uh, the photo filter and you can simply come to the cooling filter and just cool cool down your image just like that around I'm going to go to around six I think six is fine for uh, this very image so basically this is how I do my skin retouching color grading for all my outdoor images and if at all you found this helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you're watching from this channel for the very first time running from running photography thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating